like here down in the RC corner and you uh, follow on this channel for a while you may know that uh, this is my uh, basement in my house and that's why I call it Mike's RC corner I'm in the back corner of my basement here all the RC stuff now I'm uh, got all my stuff in order uh, we sold the house we bought a house so we'll be moving in less than a couple months so this uh, is all going to get started packed up and put away and I get requests every now and then people want to see stuff in my collection and so um, I'm not here to embarrass anybody about the size of my collection it's going to be downsized I just thought I'd show you all the stuff that I've been reviewing and stuff I've been doing and the stuff I'm running over the course of time so I'm just going to pan up here a bit you can see you got a lot of quadcopters hanging from the ceiling and I'm uh, going to be starting making some trades and doing some stuff and trying to get some more uh, RCs in here. So I'm um, just going to give you guys like a quick rundown tour. And uh, you can see uh, what I'm uh, all about here when I uh, do this channel. So first we'll start up here. We'll look at some quadcopters. Then we come up to this first one. That's a SEMA. Oh, I forget what it is. The UHW, something like that. Over there is a real cool one, it's the uh, Hubson H502E, it's got GPS, 720p camera, it's a good little quadcopter, it's brushed. Oh, the big tarantula X6 is sitting there, and then one of my original quadcopters that I own, that's the SEMA X6, it's got the uh, big um, prop guards on, it's all foam, it's all built into the frame. One you guys, I don't think you've seen, other than just a review, haven't seen that flying that's the Nine Eagles Sky 500. Pretty cool little uh, th three channel plane. Um, again, I apologize. Uh, my kids are upstairs sleeping, and the air conditioner is going to be kicking in and out as we do this video. Um, there's my channel thing. I got a Vistaprint. Pretty cool there. Um, we got the WL Toys uh, Skylark there. We got the AK, X case A600 from um, XK, it's a double L toys off brand, a little higher brand. Uh, I think it's a nice uh, brushless plane with gyros, keeps you from crashing, but I've crashed it. <laughs> and then the XK Alien sitting over here. Um, the Shy, whatever this thing is called, it's an FPV uh, quadcopter, one of the first FPV quadcopters I have big screen on the radio it's brushed in the uh, hexacopter from MGX it's at the X600 I believe so many names to remember one of the fun ones the bugs 3 highly recommend it brushless quad and does very stable video for not even having a gimbal just a mount um, guys check that one out for sure um, another cool one um, Sheen Spider or something. I forget the name. The JJRC H31. Really good quadcopter. Really good one. Um, super cheap and super durable. And uh, when you kick it in at higher rates, it handles the wind really good for even being a brush quad. Um, JXD something something 509 or something. That's an FPV quadcopter too. That was my first one I had that had. Um, altitude hold so that was a real easy one to learn to fly on um let's uh round out some quads down here minus this uh we got a hubson here the h 107c it's in a box now the q 323 that's a camera bird again brushed that's a big one uh, that's in a box one I haven't done anything with yet, H11D Nano FPV. I got that one from Gear Best recently. Um, and then uh, other quads, not so much seen. That's my Falcon 210 from Ishin. That's the hobby grade one over there um, in a protective bag. Also, my Hubson H H05. Uh, S, I believe. That's the black drone that I do a lot of my uh, video on. That one's in that aluminum case with the controller. 
And we got uh, boxes here full of the small ones, like the E Sheen E010, the H20, and the little hexcopter. Um, up here, I got more in these bugs. Let me see if we can pull this up a bit here. And uh, I got a bunch of quads in here, a SEMA, and the small little Cheersons. That's a JJRC H30 something in there. <laughs> Whatever. So, got a lot of quads sent to me over time. There's a few that I've already traded. And speaking of traded, I traded for this Double Toys V. Is it the VL 911? That's. Sorry, here we get the camera panning down. So it's the four channel uh, copter. And uh, I made that trade with Big Mike, the V911, that is. A bunch of you guys are probably saying, Mike, it's the V911. So pretty cool stuff. I'm just going to plug in this light here. Sorry, guys, I'm just doing this off the cuff. And um, hope everyone's having a good time, good weekend, great day, whatever you see in this video. So uh, let's we'll just go through some more of the uh, RC stuff. Um, one thing you notice when you get a lot of stuff sent to you to review, you end up with piles and piles with boxes of stock radios. <laughs> Just tons. And every time I want to go run something, I got to like sort through the box and try and find a radio. There's three or four that I go to that I keep out. I don't know, I'm always searching for a freaking radio. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. There's the uh, snowmobile, the Top Max that we did this winter. Really popular. A lot of people like that. Got great feedback on that. Thanks for watching that one. Um, this one's going to be a little tough. I keep these out of the way because I don't pull them out very often. You know, they come out like three or four times a year. We got the boats. So we got the very popular F zero FT-012. Really fast boat. Goes almost about 50 kilometers. Um, and then the W... Oh, is that the 912 back there from Devil Toys? And then way in the back, with that black thing, uh, that's the uh, FT-011. That's brushless boat. I think that's a 60 centimeter boat. And then we got the Volantix Blade. And then we got a real cool the Zigzag Racer. I really love that one. It's a nice pool boat, but also can handle waves out in the water. And then lastly for boats here, the Tumbler. I love the Tumbler. And I got another tumbler down here. Hope you can see it. So I got two now. And then we can do those in the neighbor's pool. Really cool stuff. Um, so let's quickly hit up some of the, the vehicles that I got going here. Now, um, my son, uh, I think at Easter time, uh, we were visiting Grandma and Grandpa. Easter dinner, we were outside in the garage. And uh, he grabbed the remote and he goosed the Wild Rider right into the concrete steps. And we broke the hub carrier there. But I really like this vehicle. It's 124 scale HBX Wild Rider. Also goes under the GP S607 or something like that. Cool stuff. Now we're going to start getting into my recreational and bigger vehicles. These ones I ra used to race with. I don't race anymore. I will be get back to racing, but I'll be really outdated. That's the TLR S22 SCT. That's the 1.0 model. I got this one off of a guy who got it off the local racer who's kind of like a top-notch racer around in this area. It's sponsored by Horizon and that one's all set up ready to go with his setup and it drives really well. Um, great truck. Um, then we got the uh, WL Toys A969 and the B version, so that's the one that goes 50 kilometers, and that's the one that goes 70. Those are both really good trucks, and this one is definitely the 50 kilometer version is one I would highly recommend for a beginner. Super cool. Down here you got a two-wheel drive stampede. So I do show Traxxas a little bit of love. <laughs> I got nothing wrong with Traxxas. I like Traxxas, don't get me wrong. That's a great truck. Um, that used to be my brother's and I traded it for it back and I dropped brushless system in there. I got a track star system I got from Hobby King. 
And over here we got a Team Associated 4.1 T41 Stadium truck. Well, let me tell you guys something. This two-wheel drive. Nothing's more fun to race for me than a stadium truck. I like short course. I love the buggy. But stadium truck is a lot of fun. And there's some problems when you race with them because the wheels are really out there. You can hook into people and break things. But man, these things are fantastic. Fantastic. I love driving it. There's no real class for it in the scene when I left the club racing. But I always brought it with me and uh, did laps with it. I really liked it. Yeah, I'd have to go to Toronto to get into some stadium truck racing. And I did once and it was great. I enjoyed it very much. Down here we got the ZD Racing 116 Truggy, ZD Racing 116 Monster Truck, and the ZD Racing 116 Buggies. Those are all great deals off eBay used. Unbelievable. Um, got the uh, Hyper Tracks from Air Hogs sitting on top of the Kyosho Inferno GT 18 scale on road car. That one rips pretty good. Very popular video on my channel. Down here, I'm a big Afna fanboy. Um, they've kind of gone belly up, but they've been rebranded. But uh, this thing is a durable basher. I love this RC, and I jumped it. In the fall, my son's birthday in August. Check that one out, the birthday bash. Cool stuff. That thing's got lots of power. It's 4S, same with the Kyosho. They fly, they boogie. Um, no particular order here. Super awesome truck that I recently got. We got the uh, WL Toys 10-428. What an awesome truck. Four-wheel drive. It's a rock racer. Uh, it's got high and low gear. You switch right on the radio. The radio's right here. Super cool stuff. Love this truck. Highly recommend it. And uh, right now it's sitting on the charger. Charging it up. Another great vehicle. The Feiyu. This is the FY04, it's the ATV series. Uh, another popular RC on my channel, I get a lot of questions. How's the Vandal doing, Mike? <laughs> She's ready to go, boys. She's shelf queen for the last uh, little while. Put some new kicks on it, some uh, super soft sweep tires on them. They're all glued on those nice new rims. And uh, this thing is ready to go. If you remember, I hopped her all up from stock. This puppy's all aluminum now. A lot of aluminum hop-ups on that. Everything, I pretty much pimped it out almost as far as you can go on it. Really cool stuff. Um, okay, we've already seen the tumbler. And in the back we got the Feiyu again, the FY02. That's a real good truck too. It's a good starter truck. It goes about 35 kilometers. Not the fastest thing, but it's fast enough to keep uh, someone like me happy. But... Um, it's, it's cool for a beginner, for sure. And parts are cheap. They're all over Banggood, gear best. And the Subotech here, great looking truck. And I keep it next to the Feiyu because it's kind of like, they both have that Traxxas Telluride look. And uh, they look good together on the shelf, I think. Still my long-term project hasn't gotten done getting this thing brushless. And I got a Hobby King system that doesn't quite fit. And I need a little help. From the neighbor across the street and uh, we got to mill out a little hole so we can mount it in the motor plate in the back but uh, yeah and then I can get that thing 2.4 gigahertz because it comes with the crappy Losi stock radio this one with the black antenna it absolutely blows 10 foot range on it I don't know if you guys have seen this one before super 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 fun the Air Hogs car, those ones are a lot of fun, and the one beside it here too, the WL Toys, was that the, oh come on, that's the L939, or 929, something like that, that truck is awesome for indoor, my son chases that around the house in the winter time when it's too cold to go outside, it's got like five speeds, well it's a, so much fun, and you can take it outside too on a driveway, it runs really good. I highly recommend that one. That's one of the very first videos I've ever done on my channel. Pretty cool stuff. Um, let's move this way. Something you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I used to race this one on indoor rubber floor track. Um, that's the X-Ray 
X18, I think it is. Um, it's just a real cool uh, car. It's uh, brushed. Um, it runs on a low battery because the track was uh, technical, didn't need so much speed, and I think it turned really well. I really love that car. I haven't done anything with it for like three, four years. It's just sitting there. You can tell it's just collecting dust, but I like the look of it. I'll have to do something with it soon. <laughs> this one's hilarious and it's great. Really popular too. You get people talking to me all the time about where do you get this? I think you can still get a model of it on Nitro RCX. That's a 143rd scale um, Great Wild Toys. And this thing's got proportional steering. This thing's like four or five years old. Proportional steering runs on a little lipo, like 100 milliamp hour battery. The LEDs work. You hit the brakes, the brake lights come on. When you go forward, the headlights come on. It is fantastic. Little car for indoor on a smooth floor. Fantastic. You can get a couple of those and race them. Super, super cool. Super popular one here also on my channel. Um, A242, I think this is called. <laughs> Sorry, some of these names are just like a bunch of letters and numbers. This is like a direct competitor with the Losi um, 124 scale, I believe this is. Yeah, and um, that competes with the Losi Rally, and this is way better. I've had the Losi Rally. This one blows it out of the water, and it's for like half the price. A couple more hanging around in here. This is the K989 Rally. This is the 128 scale. This is the most popular video on my channel. Um, this gets tons of views every month. Really good RC, too. And that's its uh, cousin, uh, K999, I believe. It's a short course up. The tire's a little bit different, but the chassis and everything's all the same on these. Different body, different wheels. Everything else is the same. Those are real cool RCs. And there's the air conditioner kicking in. I'm down here. Sorry, guys. It's in the dark. It's the best I can do. This is my Ruckus two wheel drive monster truck. Early in my channel, I got a low C short course buggy that's roller that I fixed the drivetrain on but never dropped the motor in. Not enough hours in the day, not enough days in the year for me to get around to doing that project. <laughs> Same with that little mostly truck here. Uh, in the bin, we got some stuff here. Uh, true MT-18 truck. We got another Subotech. We got the Turnigy TZ-4 and HSP-124 scale, Micro X Racing, whatever. That also competes with the low C. That's got a brush system and only a 4.8 volt uh, battery in it, so it does not go very fast. And that's a little disappointing, but overall it's a good truck. And we got the HBX thruster, which is kind of like that desert car. Solid body all the way through. Got the LEDs work on it. And that's a really good RC. I like that one. And. Um, I can't remember the name. RP RP something. RP05 on this one. The Extreme Sovereign. And it's a real cool one. Look it up on my channel. This is practically a knockoff of the E Revo, the mini E Revo. Some of the parts uh, change over, not all of them. But uh, a lot of similarities. Same wheelbase, same everything. They're just changed up a little bit, it's the way to do things on it. Um, that's brushed, but it runs on a light bulb. It's pretty cool. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, and then uh, the Remo Hobby 116 scale buggy with a stupid wing on it. Don't like that part of it. <laughs> um, and we'll get over here quick. Yeah, I forget what this one was called. HT something. It's just a buggy, but it's one of those models that you come in a truck or truggy. It's um, it's a decent RC. It's very durable, quick enough. Had some fun with it. Uh, need to run it again just to get a better feel for it. 
Uh, really good truck here. 12428 from Deville Toys. We have a little driver inside. Very, very cool. Just like this truck here. It's a little bit smaller version. Um, super, super fun. Super fun. Great truck for the money. Can't beat that. Cannot beat that. Another really cool, uh, very popular in Sandy Land, or it's also known as the Crossy on some other. And may go buy a GP Toys one too. I am so impressed with this RC. It's a total beginner RC, but it goes really fast for what it is. And it's 118 scale truck, and it's super durable and it runs forever. It's just I've had a lot of fun with that one, especially with my son. There you guys see my videos. He's up on the uh, this tricycle, riding up and down the driveway, chasing around. Uh, we bring it to my parents' place and we go for a walk to a little waterfall nearby and go down little trails and stuff. And that thing just runs, and we just have so much fun with that. Real cool. I'm down here, I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, yeah, I got another uh, bag down here. And uh, that would have um, another. Um, RC in it. Yep, I think the Falcon's in there. I think this bag is empty. Um, well, maybe we should check that out. So I don't call myself a liar here. Sorry. Oh, no. We got the rodeo in here. So the Wakira Road 110 Rodeo is down in this one. And then the Falcon 210 Pro is in this bag. And then I've got some floodlights down here that helps me do some lighting on my some of my videos. And then back here, I got two metal toolboxes, and that's where I keep uh, almost all my lipos for safe storing, of course. Uh, wicked truck here, the Carnage. Um, also goes under the Acme. This is the Acme Carnage. It also goes under the Hobby King Basher truck. Really good. Uh, this one didn't come with a radio or a receiver. I, I have those myself. Super, super awesome stuff. Oh, I love that a lot. Now we're getting down to the end of my collection here. And uh, these are more of my race ones. Um, oh, yeah, we'll touch on the uh, XC Racing here. Buggy. That's a cool RC. It's a slight one off the RC18 series. Uh, I like that one a lot. That was a great one. Um, someday I hope to uh, make a track and maybe race uh, 119 scales in my backyard. And um, let's have a look at this here quick. In here, I got my Ofna four wheel drive TS4 truck. These are my racing ones. My Losi 22 Buggy, TLR 22 1.0. Down here, it's my Afna CRT.5. I converted it to brushless from Nitro. Awesome basher, awesome basher. Love that truck. And then my original racing two wheel drive short course truck. And it set up really well too. I had a guy help me out, local racer, real good. And that's my HBI Blitz. And down here, I have my four-wheel drive short course, original four-wheel four, uh, four drive short course truck, the Afna SCRT-10. And that one's also set up really well. I've actually traded that away and traded back for it. I loved it so much. And last but not least, we have the Afna Hyper 10T four-wheel drive stadium truck. That thing is awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, guys, that's it. Um, that's a quick tour. I'm probably missing a couple things, but that's the gist of it. Um, it's a bit of embarrassment of riches, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Oh, I forgot these ones up here. We got the uh, mini uh, S-Mags. That's the, um, uh, that's from the Remo Hobby, the 116 scale truck. And then we got the uh, Basher Rockstar. The what is that 124 scale crawler 128 scale crawler yeah man so lots of stuff and uh, gonna downsize moving 
so I'm not sure if I'm going to have as much space as I do now. I need to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to sell some stuff, give some stuff away to the kids on the street, give some stuff away to my nephews, and uh, yeah, that's where we're going to go from there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you got any questions or anything, give me a shout in the comments below. Appreciate it as always. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for tuning in again, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.